Good morning, everybody. I told you it'd only take a few minutes for you. For me, it took all night. And I slept like a baby. Cranky one. Kept tossing and turning, but I still slept. For some reason, I've been getting up at like 5.30, 6 o'clock every morning. And you know, I don't have to get up and go right away. I'm not a voyageur. But it's just like being out here. You can kind of understand how nature would be their alarm clock and just wake them up early. At least for me it is. Right here, I'll give you a quick view of the campsite. Some kind of fur mess there. I didn't see that last night. I've got the earthbound misfit tied up. She's not going nowhere. I came from that direction. It's just about an hour before dark. Going that direction. And the reason why I had to find this place before dark is spot that little sight marker on the tree at night time has been near impossible. I don't know if I would have found it or not. Yeah. Just fruit beautiful. Not bright and sunny today. Cloud cover. And a bit of wind. But uh, I'm pretty close to what the, what the map calls Buck Bay. Which is just a little outlet. Whatever you want to call it, just a little widening of the channel. Shortly after I get through that, I turn towards the east and start have, heading towards Jameson Rapids. There's little and large Jameson Rapids. Don't know if I'm going to do either of them, but I still want to see them. So I'm going to finish my oatmeal. Finish going through everything. As you can see, it's just kind of laid out here double checking going over everything making sure that everything's where I need it to be I went over my food got more than enough food to last the rest of my seven day trip on day three now so I need four more days worth of food which works and the duffel big old sleeping bag in there I left that in there because I was going to sit down and eat inside the tent, but because I was smart, I left it open and there's a bunch of mosquitoes flying around in there now. Anyhow, see if I can't record a little bit of the paddling coming up here, leaving here. But uh, save some of the memory card space. Four days to go. I've got the canoe all packed up, pretty much ready to go. Uh, cleaned up the site, make sure I didn't leave nothing behind. The only really thing disturbed was a little bit of fernage. Fernage. So that I could set up my tent. Other than that, I didn't even have a fire, I just used my stove. Cleared a little area here like this. Made my coffee, my oatmeal. Now all I got left to put in the canoe is that. So thank you Site 800, you've been great. Kind of, I don't know why, it just makes me think of camping back home on Kettle Creek. Minus all the rock furniture. Alright, just kind of show you what I'm going to be paddling into. Weatherways. Don't forget your water. Oh yeah, I'll have to grab a snapshot of good old 800. And if you look at the weather... Definitely not as bright, a little bit of clouds, but I think I'm all right to go and uh, move forward. Make some ground today. Covered a lot of ground yesterday, but I'm gonna do the same today. Um, I still gotta cover, every, I put a tarp over everything to keep the wind from catching on anything, and it seems there's a little less resistance. So yeah. By the way, if you haven't been to French River Provincial Park, Tons of different ways to go. I think I could come here a hundred times, a million times. This is my first time, mind you. But I could come here so many times and never have the same adventure twice. Because there's so many different ways you could go. So many different things to check out. This was over there in the weeds. So I did my best to stick it back up. And if you happen to come to Site 800, add a nickel to the tree. I don't know. Maybe next time I come back, I'll see a 
couple of nickels there. People have watched my videos and said, hey, yeah, let's check that out. Let's do that. I'm going to come here again and check it out. See if it's still here next year, maybe. Or later in the summer if I get a chance to come back. All right, to the canoe. So, Ballas, B A L I S, Ballas Point, I think is this back here. Or maybe I'm on it now. It's one of these points that stick out. It's on the map. So, I thought I'd uh, stop here in this open spot of water. Climb up to a high point, see if I get a reception just so I get a text out. People know I'm still alive. Might be nice. But on the other hand, they know I'm okay. Anyhow, yeah. Check this out. Sorry about the wind noise. You see this over here? From like here, down to there, you can see all kinds of fire damage, but it doesn't look very extensive at all. Just a little area. Lucky didn't catch on to worse. Fires start here very easily. Yeah, this is freaking beautiful and amazing. Look at all of us out here. Rocks, little islands. On with the journey. Holy wind! Three days fighting headwind. Be nice if that's a tailwind on the way home, though. Or back to Hartley Bay after the end of tomorrow. And you know what, guys? If I was still a smoker, I don't think I could do this so easily. Oh shit, come on, come on, this way. Come on, misfit, get over there. Big ol' fucking rock. Not cool. It is kind of cool. It's like Lake Georgian Bay wind or whatever. I gotta get out of this wind. No matter what I do, I'm gonna have to be in the wind across to be out of it. Once I get across here, I'll be heading more in an east direction. There is big fucking... Yo, Clarence, you're right, brother. There's some big boulders just hiding underneath the surface of this water. You're paddling along thinking you're in deep, deep water, then all of a sudden you tap your paddle off of a, one of those big cocksuckers. Oh! Because the wind's blowing into the north, roughly. If I'm heading down the east channel towards where all the rapids and stuff are, I could stay on the south side of that channel and be out of the wind. It's funny, because after a couple of days of being out here and doing this, you really, really, really start to learn where to be on the water in a, in a boat like this. Cause the canoe, the uh, inside walls, like from the gunnels down, catch the wind. And that can like pull you right sideways and that's when you gotta do that power paddling like this to overcome it. Now if you keep your nose in the wind, you can kind of balance between those two and cut right through it. And the Earthbound Misfit's doing a great job of that so far. But still, holy hell. Well, it started to rain. And I stopped really quickly, put on the rain gear. By the time I had the rain gear on, the rain was done. Go figure. 
but I, I'm not even sure if I'm where I think I am. But I'm in one of two spots, and either way I won't be lost. I'll see a sight marker eventually. But I get to carry my canoe over that beaver dam. Yep. You knew it was going to happen eventually. That's a little, little peaceful spot. I'm going around here though, so... Back to the tour. So here's, so here's the other side. So I'm through like maybe a hundred yard channel, like a little separate pond. Uh, lagoon, maybe? It's not the same water level as what I'm about to cross into. What I'm about to cross into opens up into bigger stuff. But I gotta carry the boat up over that, take the heavier bags out first. And then hopefully that's it for potassium for a little bit. But I'm just gonna sit here and enjoy this coffee while I do this. I can do anything I want that doesn't require technology. Because technology is failing me out here. No signal. Came down through Black Bay, and the idea was to go this way through the channel. There's some. I was told there's a little bit of rapids in here. I thought, oh, cool, I'd like to check it out. Fortunately, unfortunately, I didn't turn enough and I ended up coming down this by mistake. And then there was one, two, through, like, there, through this section, there was one, two, three, four portages, and then another five to get out into Gravel Bay. And I almost thought I was lost, but this start here, they got everything, the shape of everything marked pretty damn good. So I was able to recognize this island here, and I figured, okay, well, I'll come along up here and hopefully see the site marker for 815. If I come up and around the front of this, I should be able to even just walk along here and see 814. I haven't set up my tent or anything yet, but I'm thinking I might stay at 814. I don't know, I might come around to Bottle Island. Say That way I could say I slept on Bottle Island. It looks to be a hell of a view, too, so... Yeah, I wanted to go this way so I could get down this way here, out of Black Bay, and track out some of these rapids, all the way down into here, and then up here. And this is where I will be going. I don't know what the current's going to be like in there, or if there's going to be any at all. Because I'm out here, and I don't really have any flowing current, but we've got some wind and waves. In the background, also, all you can hear is wind and waves. I've covered a lot of distance so far. More than I've traveled in a long time by my own power. And I'm only not even halfway to where the furthest point I wanted to be is. I think the furthest point... See, I could either... Oh, jeez. I could come back in around here and try and get up here to check out some of the rapids. But I also wanted to get out to the fingerboards here. Ah, and then back up Hart Hartley Bay Marina this way somewhere. I'll figure that out after, though. I'll show you all together the distance I've covered and the road I'm planning on taking back later. All done lunch. I got the Earthbound Misfit all loaded up, ready to go. Um, oh, I'm dripping e-juice all, all the last of that good flavor of e-juice. So I won't drip back in the hole. Anyhow, no, not worth crying over spilt e juice. Gonna head out this way, follow the edge of this up and around, and check out 816, I think. Stop real quick, get a video of that site. Kind of, kind of stopping to show these sites like this so that you kind of know what you're looking for when you come out looking for this. This one. It's fairly easy when I come around the corner and I seen that. I couldn't see the number obviously, but I seen the uh, orange symbol and it was just like, yes, 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 I'm not lost. I was, I was on track to where I thought I got off track to. But this here, nice area to set your tent up in, level, fairly level, and trees to tie off tarps too in case you get stuck in the rain. You know, it's not a bad little site, fire pit, bit of exploring space. Not much for firewood though. Not much for firewood. It's not why I'm not staying here, I can find firewood anywhere here. 
dead wood because you don't burn the live stuff. So I just gotta untie, hop in, and uh, I gotta reorganize the back of the canoe a little bit. And I wanna get that life jacket out because getting into some rougher looking waves just around the corner here. If I can, I'll stop and take a video and show you. But if I can't, you'll just have to wait. Okay, I'm gonna do my best to shield the microphone from the wind. But can you see that? That's Georgian Bay. I do believe it is. There's some huge freaking waves going on out there right now. I don't even know if you can hear me. But all of a sudden I noticed I got a signal way out here. Go figure. So I'm going to stick around this spot for a few minutes and try and upload this video to Facebook. So you guys know I'm still alive. I had a slight detour. Uh, I didn't turn east far enough down a channel. I'm going to miss the rapids because of the way I ended up going. But I had four pain in the ass portages. And I'm still here. See? I'm still here. Look, yes, Rodney, I got the light jacket on. Wind gets underneath the bottom of this canoe, and oh boy, I could go for a ride. So I don't even know if you heard half of what I just said, but yeah. I had a little unexpected detour, but it still brought me where I wanted to be. I'm at Georgian Bay. I might even go for a walk. This is awesome. You have no idea. This is so awesome. Unless you've been here, you have no idea. This campsite right over there. I'm gonna check that campsite out, but I don't know if I'm gonna stay there. Let's see how far out I can go. Who freaking who? Look at all the little fish. Look at them all. Look. Oh, don't worry. I don't want to eat you. Just looking. A ton of you little bastards out here. They're over here too. come paddling in and I see this guy sitting here and he's gonna talk in a real friendly voice so he doesn't get scared. Hey buddy, you smile for a camera? Look at the size of you. Just massive. And the claws. And the dragon tail. It's okay. You're on camera dude. You got an ant crawling on your head. Well, the sun's setting. I am at uh, 8.13, as I mentioned earlier. Was it 8.13? Yeah. And uh, camp's all set up. Tent's back in there under this really cool tree. Food bag's hung up. Perhaps not completely proper, but as good as I can do for now. Don't know if I'm going to burn what I added to the pot. You see this, the bleach stuff? That's the top layer of what was here. Oh, and this long one. But I added these nice big ones. I saw them up. Don't think I'm going to burn them all tonight. Probably just leave them if I don't. 
So I'm gonna go wash up, brush my teeth, get all this beef jerky out of my teeth, and fix my hair, because it's just it's camping hair. What do you expect? Look at that sunset. If only I had time lapse equipment. What else I have is my phone. Hey, this phone fell in the water today. <laughs> yeah, I almost lost my only line of communication. Not that I have signal, but uh, still need the message to be able to get picked up. I fixed it. As I usually do, I fix everything. I try. Anyhow, I'm going to sit back, enjoy the fire for a few hours. Maybe change colors because of the sun. See you later. A little special part for Craig. What do you do when you have no tent pegs? Well, you make tent pegs. Well, when those tent pegs fail, because it's so windy, they just snap, and you only got about maybe two inches of topsoil. And then the rest is all hard frickin' bedrock underneath, so you can't even drive them in that far. This is what you do. You get a great big frickin' rock, and you put it in the corner of your tent, and <laughs> stretch it out as far as it'll go. Morning, everybody. Well, it's not really technically morning for me anymore. I've been up for a few hours. It's like mid-morning. Pre-noon. And a beautiful day today. Beautiful, beautiful day. Hoping if I got up and got on the water soon enough, which took me too long to get packed up for breakfast, blah, blah, blah. I thought I might be able to beat these waves that are out there, but we'll find out once I get out there. All right, see you in a bit. Say goodbye, 813. You've been awesome. Recommend this site to anybody. It's looking for a nice, clean, good campsite. Gotta like this life jacket. Throw it in for Rodney. It's got pockets on the front, so when you hop out, you got your baby. I'm walking along larger ones right now. I don't think these are the fingerboards. There's a section called the fingerboards. And I'll know because there will be a, a, some campsites on them. So I don't think these are them. These are similar. So walk with me all the way to the end of this. I'm in bare feet so I'm not just trucking along here. You can tell every time I take a step. <laughs> some bush. Step over some bush. And some pricklies. Oh, not like the pricklies at home. These are just dry, dead, freaking pricklies. Oh. Somebody lost your claw. I haven't seen a full one yet. Lots of remnants, though. Let's stand right on the end. Right on the end. 
What do you think, folks? Beautiful. This is why you love Canada. Because of our beautiful countryside. Because what makes Canada Canada is a giant turtle. <laughs> Such a freaking beautiful territory. But yeah, not gonna make you stay tuned for the whole walk back. Again, if you made it this far in the video, thanks. I made it this far in my trip. This is day four. I'm still feeling really good about it. Not really sore. Wish I had more food because I'd be eating a lot more at breakfast and probably a lot more at lunch. Great supper material, so. Lesson learned. I'll know for next time. Anyhow, back to the boat. done the French River trip before, hopefully you can read that, I'm right, oops, I'm right here, it says Goth Gothier's Fisheries operated a fish packing plant here up until the 1950s, all that remains are concrete puddings of the buildings, I really don't know anything about that fishing company, I really don't know anything about any fishing company, but I know it's an abandoned location, so here we are. Former site of Gothier's, Gothier's fishing. Great big steel freaking uh, bin of sorts. Probably used it for collecting rainwater. A cistern of sorts. Yeah, a cistern. That makes sense, doesn't it? Or maybe something else. It looks like they had a lot of fires underneath it. Or there was a fire. Perhaps they used it to cook stuff down, I don't know. But around you do see the odd remaining dried up old plank. If anybody's done, if anybody's moved it in about a decade or two. Oh, probably, people probably come out here all the time. that cool. Let's go put it up here where it can be seen. And look at this. You know what this is, don't you? Showing that far 
properly. Yeah, it's an old knife. right there for somebody else to come along and find an old hunk of whatever that was. Oh yes. Check this thing out. Apologize for any wind noise. It's unavoidable. Look at that puppy. This looks like a hand crank uh, pump of some kind with some other coily looking thing. Yeah. I said that. that coily looking thing. foundation remaining. It goes on for a little bit though. Like I said, it's a great spot for abandoned location. Video, wow, I'm in bare feet. I don't recommend this to anybody, but over the last while, my feet have become tougher than leather. Oh, I am on a concrete foundation piece. been here before, comment on it. If you have any information about the fish packing plant that was here, comment on that too. I'd love to hear a little bit of information. Just came off a section called Bad River, at Nice. Um, apparently Dallas or Dallas Falls ain't too far off from here. So I'm gonna go check that out. Ah, little metal table. Pretty cool, eh? It just goes up and back and in further. Good, nice, good sized fire pit there. But it's chilly up there on land. You get that bay breeze coming in on you, and it's just. Brr. Getting away from it now, though. I have the same screwdriver piece at home, except mine actually has the screwdriver in it. No, I'm not carting that out of here. But just to show you. Not a good spot for a little fire pit. Check that out, right by the river. I was saying about a skateboard earlier. It's so smooth. You can actually ride down right into the water or like a BMX or something. It'd be fun. But way down there where you see the edge, way at the end, you turn left is where I came out of. It's called Bad River. So, again, another small portage. I don't really mind it, you know, because they're just short little things, but it, I gotta go through over here. King. Boulders, and all kinds of crud in the way, so I'm gonna, I you know, might as well bring one of the packs over now. I gotta carry all my gear individually. Oh, good, I did find the right spot. It's hard to tell because a lot of them look the same. And then after I get all my gear through, I get to carry the canoe on my head through that. I'm not sure if you saw much of it, but carry it, put it in, load her back up, and go out and around and on. Just so you can see, across the beaver dam. Oh, I'm breaking ankles. All very easy. Pretty decent footing. Rocks are all fairly stable. So a portage I shall do. Okay, canoe's over. Started loading it up. 
Took about 20 minutes all together between spotting out where to portage and how to get around and getting it done. I load the rest of the stuff up back in the earthbound misfit and then onward. I'm averaging about four kilometers an hour without paddling. Can you see where I am? This is the inlet to what's called the actual part that's called French River. And uh, I don't know what difference it really makes, it's just another river. But I've got some pretty good swells for a canoe. And I got a sail! It's actually working, pulling me along, making it so I don't have much work to do, except for occasionally give a little side paddle or get us back on course, whichever direction the course might be. But yeah, I'm sailing. Exactly that's what I'm talking about. Whoa! And then if you get two sideways, these swells come in the side of the boat, so I gotta pay attention to what I'm doing. Oh wow, well, guess who found another abandoned location? Woo, what's that? High off spot for a big boat. I found something very cool. Oh, it's me. Oh, too cool, Adam the Woo. Join me, show you. Join me through this pricklies and thorns and oh raspberries. Not yet. Soon. On the map it says this was the former location of the French River Village. I'm not even sure I made it far enough to get to the actual village. Because there's supposed to be another campsite along here. Well, geez, why didn't I just come in along here? That would have been so much easier. But you know, I just did not see the marker anywhere. Oh, look at that birch bark. Nature's fire starter. Wow, look at this thing. It's huge. Wonder how long ago it was built. Oh, let's take a peek inside. <laughs> wow. Never thought I'd see anything like this on my travels. Not not this here anyways. You see it's all mainly stone. And then brick, where the chimney, I guess, would be. I don't know what they were, who would plan on living in here. It didn't even look like there was a door. This looks punched through. I don't see any room for a door. No. Just a tower. There was part wall there, and this here, oh, it's all over through here. That's barely there. Precarious, so they've balanced. Let's go down this way, because that's what my eye sees next. A couple of boaters going by. Don't even, they're not even looking this way. Sending smoke signal, well, huh? vapor signal. Oh wow, would you look at that. Half a bucket. See, we got half the handle still. Is that not cool or what? Fooled me. Thought it was a whole damn bucket. Not as cool as it would be to have 
to have an old relic like that. I won't take anything like that because it takes away from the next person being able to see it. Look at that. You don't even see birch trees like this around our area that much anymore. There's more foundation over here. There's foundation down in the water. Not foundation, just bricks that were used to build with, I imagine. Like a little wall that goes out. See it there? Along here. Now mind you, nature and its awesome power almost erase these. That tree just grew right up through it. Now, I have to try not to use up all my battery before it charges again because it's not even fully charged again this time and I don't want to run into charge capability. Okay, I don't think there's any more this way. And I don't want wet feet. Look at that, big old support beam. Rotted away. Crazy. Who'd have thunk it, huh? Did you know this was here? I didn't know this was here. Oh, what's this? Whoa! What the fuck is that? What is that? It's steel, whatever it is. And it ain't going nowhere. Oh, I'm getting eaten alive in here. I am not even sure what this is. There's no markings. Maybe a water wheel or something? No. Well, here's the other part of it. Maybe it wasn't too far off. That's not going anywhere, ever. I don't care how strong you think you are. It's not going anywhere. All right, let's go this way. It's a big step. Oh. I don't see any more remnants. Paul, if I come up here with you in September, I'll have to show you where this is, unless you've already seen it. Woo! This was part of a bigger building, bigger structure. It just makes me wonder if I go back this way and look, what I might find. So, let's follow this little trail of debris. Kinds of metal all through here. Some kind of nettle, because my leg is now burning. Another old bucket. Normally I'd want to take pictures of everything too as I'm going. Like I said, I want to save a little bit of the power on the phone, at least get this video bit of a hike around. I'm still carrying that birch bark with me. I don't know if there's going to be any readily available wherever I end up, which has got to be soon. Oh yeah, more stuff. Aiming for up there. I guess up and over we go. This is how I get through the bush. I don't even bring my machete sometimes. Wow, you know what? Up is the better option. 
Bear with me. I got a hole in my mouth. Ugh. You okay? So am I. I think I, I think I found all there is to find, but I can't climb this with the phone in my hand, so definitely not going to try to climb with the phone in my hand anymore. Thanks for watching. Just come up to check out this cabin. It's not a property marker or anything, it's just a black dot that it's there. And it's the coolest looking one I've seen so far. See? So I thought, why not go check it? It's the most original looking. Oof, all I can smell is two stroke. Oh, and look at this. We've got a uh, boardwalk of sorts. Maybe it was supposed to be a bench. There's an old dinghy right there with a great big hole in the bow. Pretty cool, eh? I thought so. Definitely worth the look. Wow. Just freaking wow. That's all I got to say. This is the kind of stuff that takes my breath away. And knowing my sorry ass luck is the kind of stuff that would take my life away. So I'm not going to do it. <laughs> not in the boat I got. Well, boy, it would be kind of fun, wouldn't it? Come in right here. Come up the far side. Through right there. Stick off to the right. Oosh. Yeah, right. I've never done anything like that in my life before. So yeah, coming in along here. Shooting through right here. I had no idea where it'd be a safe spot, but I could tell you right there. Not somewhere you want to end up. Very cool. So you ever make camp, walk about 10 minutes, finally find the other site that was on the map. We know the voyageurs camped here and how many other people actually made it to this spot? Obviously somebody has. They left a nice sizable pile of firewood. The hell, all I need is some birch bark. Very cool. There's your rapids, Clarence. Dallas Rapids, I think is what it was called. Dallas? Dallas? D-A-L-L-E-S. Hell yeah, I'm brave enough. Sometimes dumb enough. I might actually try that if it weren't for the portage back around. Again.